Hello and welcome to this Flangu tutorial. My name is Chuck from Teachers Discovery and in this first video I'd like to just show you the basics on how to navigate your Flangu account. Now to get started I'm here at flangu.com and I'm going to click up here to where it says teacher sign in and I'm going to enter my email and my password and then click sign in. Once I've logged into Flangu, it takes me immediately into my library. Right now I'm in my Spanish library. To change to my French or German, I simply click up here along the top. Here is my French. And then here is my German. For this tutorial, I'm going to stick with the Spanish library for now. Just know that everything that I go through, it's going to be the same for all of the different libraries. All of the books in Flangu are divided into levels. So we have our pre-level 1 books, our level 1, level 2, level 3 and up, and then we have them divided into categories. So here are the top 5 teacher favorites, and these are based on the reviews that you can give each one of the books. And then we have all of our comprehensible input titles, all of our biographies, comedy, holidays, Bizarre and Creepy, and Graphic Novels. As we add more books, we'll be adding more categories just to help you find the kinds of books that you're looking for. To scroll through the books in a category, we simply move our mouse to the edge here. There's a little arrow, and we click on that, and it'll move through all of the books. Any of the books you see that have this thing right here that says Enhanced, that means that this book contains video as well as audio. To get us started, I'm going to go ahead and click into a book, and I'm going to choose one of my favorites, Apistoso. Once you click on a book, it's going to give you a quick rundown of what this book is all about, some technical information about it, so we know this is a level one, we have a total of unique words, total word count, and the tenses that are in this book. I can then start from the beginning or start reading this book, or I can come here to Words to Know. Uh, this gives you the ability to download your vocab list. It downloads it as a PDF, so I can simply click this button to save it to my desktop. I can print this if I want to give it to all of my students, uh, or I can leave this up to my students to download themselves. This information down here we're going to get into later. This is keeping track of all of the scores that it's tallying for the auto-graded quizzes. I'm going to go over these in a different video entirely, so when you're going through all the tutorials, look for a video called Auto-Graded Quizzes. You'll find all of the information that you need there. For now, let's just go ahead and click into a book. Some books start with a pre-reading information uh, before the actual book gets started. That information is usually presented in English. And here we go at the beginning, chapter one. Since this is an enhanced title, I do have video. Soy Ricky. Me gusta patinar en mi tabla. Mi mejor amigo es mi perro Raúl. I also have the audio for the book right down here in this bottom bar. I simply click play. It's going to start reading the book for me. Uh, we did our best to get native speakers for all of the books, and we tried to get native speakers that are actually from the regions where the books take place. You just click the play button. Apistoso. Mi familia. Me llamo Raúl. Soy un perro. Mi trabajo es ser perro. And it plays the audio for you. All of the words that are underlined, that's my hover over vocabulary, so I can just move my mouse over it. It's formatted in such a way that it's going to look really nice on all mobile devices. We wanted it to look nice on cell phones because we know a lot of people like to read stories on their cell phones. So it's going to be properly formatted and look really nice on any device you want to use. It'll be legible 
And if you're using a mobile device, obviously instead of a mouse, you're going to be using your finger and you just hold your finger over these words and the descriptions or the uh, translations will pop right up. At the end of every chapter, we have our short answer questions, which are downloadable questions. These are like open answer questions. Uh, they're available as a PDF or a Microsoft Word doc. They're actually exactly the same questions. It's just a matter of preference if you'd prefer the Microsoft Word doc or the PDF. And again, I'm going to get more into those in the chapter questions, which will be in a different video. And here we have our multiple choice questions. And then we use these little arrows in the left and right to move on to the next chapter. Up at the top right, this little thing, I like to call this the hamburger menu. That might actually be the technical name, a hamburger menu. Uh, but if you click on it, that lets you navigate very quickly through all the different chapters. You just find the chapter you want and click and it'll take you straight there. Uh, this can also get you to the glossary very quickly. And then by clicking on the logo here at the top, it'll take me back to my library. Any books that I've started reading are going to show up here under my continue reading. So that way I don't have to dig through the entire library. I can simply come here. That's the book I was reading and I can click it and I can click continue reading and it remembers what chapter I was on so I can pick up where I left off. Another handy feature when navigating through Flangu is this little button up here it looks like a magnifying glass. This is how you can search the different titles. So if you're looking for something with a specific keyword, we'll say food. Here are all of my books that involve food. Or let's say I'm looking for a specific author. Let's look for a Brian Candle, K-N-D-E-L. Here are all of my books from Brian Candle. Up here in the top right corner, this little drop-down menu is how you're going to get to all of the different settings that are available for your account. And we're going to go over each one of these in a different video. As well as the bell icon, which is your notifications. This is very useful when your students are filling out the auto-graded assignments. It's going to let, alert you and let you know that a student has completed an assignment or that they have a question. Finally, the last thing I'd like to show you about navigating Flangu is in the bottom left corner, which is this little icon right here, this little blue guy in this little circle here. These are your accessibility adjustments. These are little changes that you can make to a Flangu account to make it easier to read for any students that may have a reading or learning disability. They have auto profiles that are already set up for you, so you simply click the button to turn it on. And then if you scroll down a little, you can see all of these different settings, these little adjustments that you can make uh, to make it just a little easier to read. Each one of these settings saves to your student's profile. Uh, so when they log out of Flangu and then log back in again, it's going to remember these settings and reapply them. Uh, this means that uh, any students that you might need to help set up the first time, you're going to need them to log in somewhere where you can be there and, and help them set up their account. And then once it's set up, then every time they log in, it will remember and bring it back, regardless of what computer they use. And that's it for the basics of navigating Flangu. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to us. You can email us at flangu at teachersdiscovery.com or you can give us a call at 1-800-TEACHER. So again, my name is Chuck. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.